MIB here with a collecting tip from our sponsor, Baiyi.jp, the service I use to make purchases from shops and websites in Japan. I've been collecting these little lit goji egg keychains that were out of Japan in the 1990s, but I've been having a hard time finding the Dorats. Then I saw this eBay auction, shipping from Japan for $92! Like I usually do, I checked Baiyi, and sure enough, I found the exact same auction for just 11 bucks. Even with fees and shipping, it was still way less than $92! If you want to collect smart, always check Baiyi.jp, because this has happened more than a few times now. In the long run, if you play it smart, Baiyi can save you a lot of money! In fact, they'll give you free money for starting a new account if you use the link in my description. Be a smart collector and sign up for Baiyi.jp today! Here's a shock! There's a lot of memes dedicated to Godzilla, with some even growing so popular, they've become inescapable. I'm gonna go over a few of the biggest Godzilla-related memes and provide the context from which they rose to fame. Are you ready? Nope! Nope, nope, nope. Have you ever defended the Star Wars sequels and gotten this reply? Probably from me? You know it's bad when even Godzilla nopes out of here flipping you off in the process. But don't worry, it's not your god-awful taste Godzilla's walking away from. This three-panel noping Godzilla comes from the mega-popular comic and game site The Oatmeal, in the comic titled The Terrible and Wonderful Reasons Why I Run Long Distances. The Oatmeal launched in 2009 and is made by cartoonist Matthew Inman. Inman often uses the site to share humorous stories, provide spelling and grammar tips, or share personal feelings. In the case of Reasons Why I Run Long Distances, Inman shares the many ups and downs of his experience as, well, as a long-distance runner. Part 5, titled The Agony, recounts a run he had in Japan where he was running up the side of a mountain. On his way down the hill, he encountered a bamboo forest that was home to the Japanese giant hornets, the most lethal animal in the country. To accent this point, the comic jumps to a hypothetical situation where Godzilla plans to come ashore, but sees a nest of giant hornets and nopes right back out into the ocean. Eventually, the last three panels here escaped the oatmeal and became a reactionary meme with their own life. This is not Godzilla's only appearance on the oatmeal. He can also be seen closing the classic comic, How to Use a Semicolon, the most feared punctuation on Earth. Fun fact, I have this comic as a signed poster! Whoa! Can you believe it originated on the oatmeal? This image of SH Monster Arts Godzilla, Gamera, and Mecha Godzilla figures at a computer gets passed around a lot, often with captions running over it. The picture originated around 2015 on the Tumblr Gigablog. There you'll find tons of humorous photos, like Godzilla roasting a marshmallow, Godzilla fishing, Godzilla walking a dog, Godzilla hanging with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Godzilla playing instruments with Gamera. And it's not all Godzilla stuff, there are a ton of hilarious pics with Star Wars toys, Marvel toys, etc, etc, etc. Looks like one of the photographer's pictures escaped the collection to launch a career of its own. If there's anything that makes for good meme material, it's photos of the Godzilla movie costumes in contexts outside of what made it into the movies, such as the case with this 1989 photo of a Godzilla costume resting in a wheelbarrow, probably being transported to or from the set of Godzilla vs. Biollante. And according to Know Your Meme, this photo was featured in a Gizmodo article on August 29th, 2012, titled Behind the Scenes, Godzilla Photos Were Charming, Absolutely Ridiculous. Years later, in May of 2019, the photo was uploaded to iFunny by Titanus Mosada. With the edit caption, Godzilla had a stroke, trying to read this, and fucking died. From there, this version spread on Reddit as a reactionary post to incoherent rants, indecipherable gibberish, and conspiracy theorists doing their mental gymnastics. Oh, that wasn't very cash money of you. Who better to judge what's considered cash money than a Godzilla in sunglasses? The origin of this image is fascinating, it comes from episode 19 of Stop Hibari-kun, a 35-episode anime series that ran from 1983 to 1984, made by Toei Animation. The anime is an adaptation of a serialized manga of the same name that ran from 1981 to 1983. The story is a romantic comedy centered around a high school student who has to live with a Yakuza boss with his four children. The titular character Hibari is one of those children, and although Hibari is assigned male at birth, the character looks and behaves like a female and prefers to be referred to as such. The Godzilla appearance in episode 19 is fleeting. I would show it to you, but we know how Toei feels about us enjoying their things. In the scene, a character has a quick fit of rage and breathes fire on another character in the car. I'd say what he does is actually the opposite of cash money if we're being honest. 
The whole thing lasts like just a second, with the meme image being literally a frame. The phrase that wasn't very cash money of you was originally attached to the character Sayaka Miki from the 2011 anime series Puella Magi Madoko Magica. The joke then evolved that any character could say the line as long as they had a pair of sunglasses on. This includes my dog Andy. It was around September 2018 that a Godzilla version of this meme began spreading around the dank meme subreddit. The fact that somebody pulled this fleeting frame from a decades-old rom-com anime is pretty cash, you know. The 2019 film Godzilla King of the Monsters finally gave us a Western interpretation of King Ghidorah on the big screen. I think King Ghidorah is one of the best features of the entire movie. In the movie, the three heads, while linked, express independent personalities. Short interactions during the film seem to present the middle head as the leader, and the left head as, well, I'd say subservient, but others went with lovably dumb. On June 2nd, 2019, Reddit user RWT1998 posted this image in the Godzilla Reddit with the title, Who else named the left head Kevin? That same day, Michael J. Larson posted this image on DeviantArt titled, King Ghidorah in a Nutshell. On June 5th, 2019, when asked on Twitter about the heads having individual names, director Michael Doherty revealed the middle head is named Icky, the right head is Ni, nee, and the left head is named San, and also Kevin, thus solidifying the nickname as official canon. Richard Dorton, who did the motion caption work for the Kevin Head, has embraced the name. He even shared Larson's art, helping to make it the quintessential Kevin fan art. Shortly after, the art was turned into a meme template titled The Three-Headed Dragon, with the Kevin Head representing the most foolish of a grouping. It had become arguably the most widely recognized meme to spawn from the MonsterVerse. Did I miss a popular Godzilla meme? Well, don't link it in the comment section below because it'll get auto-filtered into the spam. That's it, bye!